and welcome to my very first episode of Top Gear Nathaniel 256. Now I hope you are excited for my very first episode. Haha! So, what's going to happen in every episode is that I'm going to be testing a car, okay? Around the Top Gear test track on here, okay? And I'm going to be setting a lap time in it to see how fast it is around the test track. And then I'm going to put the time on this board. Um, you might not be able to see it, but I'll show you later. But, what's coming up now is that there's going to be a comparison against two German coupes that are sporty and are turboish. So, I hope you enjoy that. This is new BMW M235i. This car has been launched in 2014 and now it's here on Corsa. This car costs around about £50,000 and it's based on a 2 Series. Now remember, it is rear wheel drive so it, does, it can spin like this. Yeah, and I can hear some colours as well, if you're dumb. Now remember, the engine in this is a special qualified 3 litre straight 6 engine that produces 370 horsepower and does not to 60 in a dazzling 4.3 seconds. That is absolutely really fast, actually. And now I'm going to be seeing how fast it will go from the straight, but I hope I can stop before I hit the barrier at the other end. The gambling corner is. Let's find out. Right, I'm going to be stopping at the back of that tire wall over there. Okay, before I, before I hit it. Go! Let's see. Okay, I'm going 60, that's fast, like about 4 seconds, just like what it said online. Come on, come on, come on! Oh no! Oh! Brakes are, the brakes are not good on this car! It, it takes about 12, 10 seconds to stop it! That is so bad! I would rather poo than just drive us! Also, um, it doesn't go through corners very good either. I'm sure I'm in the inside view, okay, and as you can see, yeah, it doesn't like go into this side properly. It doesn't go onto the right side of the corner properly. See what I mean? Now, this is actually a comparison against that, and it does of course another German car. But you might be thinking, is that a Volta? Well, no, because I'm not talking about this actually make a stand. Is that a Volta twice? No, because that's the dance not actually meant to be hot. So, is there any other options? Well, there is. This is the new Audi RS5. Like the BMW, it costs around about £50,000. But it is a little bit smaller than the BMW. But, there's something opposite about this compared to the BMW to the BMW. It's four wheel drive. So you can tell by the wheel spins. Watch this. <coughs> yeah, all yeah, they don't do wheel spins so that you can tell this is four wheel drive by the wheels that has not got any wheel spins on it. The inside looks a little bit like a BMW. But however though, that's not the only thing that's cool about it. So you get four wheel drive. But you also get a more powerful engine, which is why the, the car costs a little bit more. But this actually costs around about £55,000. And the engine in this is a 4.2 litre Quattro V8 that produces 444 horsepower. The same one that they used in their 2007 RS4. Now, the RS4 um, is really good but I think the RS5 is a little bit more of a secured car now it may now this might not do any um, overseer because of this whole drive system and also because the engine is mounted right right on the front 
but that's why it's not a land crisis because uh, it's at the very, very, very front. Because in the BMW, it's between the, the front wheel and also the windscreen. But on the Audi, it's between the front wheel and the wheels. So you can see why the front just makes understeering. The Audi does not a 60 in around about 5 seconds, so it is a little bit slower as well. And also it's heavier as well, just by a couple, it's just by about 100 kilograms. But if you have, uh, have very good traction on this, then hopefully this will do overseer, but it doesn't really. I'm doing 190 kilometers per hour, it's about, that's around about 100 miles per hour. But as you can see, I'm on the grass right now and I am not actually on the track. That's really bad actually. But I really love the Audi actually because the Audi is just like a superb car to me. And not only is it superb, I also found it really, really, really good looking. I think it's a little bit better looking than the BMW. I think the wheels look a lot more fancier than the BMW. And the interior, well, I don't really have much to say about the interior, so um, let's move on to the speed. Can it get, can this have, but does it have better brakes than the BMW? Well, let's find out by doing the same thing. Now remember, I'm going to press the same A buttons I did on the BMW by itself using the reverse button because that's kind of cheating so as you can see I'm, I'm using the reverse button instead of the A button and it doesn't like stop very good because of course it's under steer like that as you can see I am in really big shock <laughs> um, this car also has um, some um, I forgot what it was called. I think it was called one. DSG, like the same one that Volkswagen used for the gearbox. But anyway, go. I remember when the BMW stopped. We can do this. That stopped. A, that stopped a lot shorter than the BMW. Wait, hang on, no. Oh, that no, I didn't. That, that stopped around 60 instead of um, 100. Oops, let's try from here. Go! I'm, so, I'm stupid. Right, come on, come on, come on. When it gets to 160, I'll stop. Stop! Yeah, I mean, that was a very good film. So, you might be thinking, what car would I have? Well, I like the BMW because it's because of its wheel drive system, but I like the Audi, it's because it's got four wheel drive. So I don't know which one. But we will be finding out which one is better by seeing how fast it goes around the track by my racing driver. I called it The Racer! And there are this car is very good, but the Audi looks like it's faster yet yeah, it is the BMW is still a little bit behind actually. It's a little bit of a shock in the system, but let's go find out into the first corner. So this all out is going out the tunnel with the bleak. Yeah, out of course, a little bit of smoke, but the BMW is actually still going very, very good, actually. Right, here comes Chicago. Let's see which one's going to go through the top there. Out is going on the right. Oh, they're hitting the cone and going on the grass. The BMW did the same thing. The BMW looks so slow. Despite it being lighter and also have a more economical engine. Right, let's see where it goes into the hammerhead. Let's think of it next. Oh, Aldi hit some cones. BMW did it as well. But the BMW is spinning because it's rear wheel drive. The Aldi is four wheel drive. Also, remember where the engine's mounted in the Aldi as well. So it can be force understeer. So. Oh, Aldi's on the grass there. Oh, can be stripped in out of the Right. Yeah. Oh, can be has gone, can be has gone. Right, Aldi is going to there as they come in. And then into Gambon. 
and and they lost the life of the Audi. The BMW is still going, and I cannot believe it. After what seems to be a very draw, and and there it is. Okay, here is my power lap time board, as you can see, and I got the time for both of the cars. So let's go for the BMW first. Okay, the BMW did it in one thirty-three point four. So I'm gonna feel like about here for now, but it will be moved in the next episode when I know where it should go. But the Audi, however, as you saw, it was a lot quicker through the corners than the BMW, but the BMW was faster in the straight line, 126.5. So I'm gonna put it there for now. But as the episodes go on, there's gonna be a lot more cars going on that board. And there's a top gear top tip. I haven't used Manix Magnus for these for cheapness. Instead, I use double sticky tape. So, I'll be seeing you in three days' time, okay? So, I'll, be, I'll see you on Wednesday. Okay. Bye.